Over the past few years, one of the YCC's priorities has been to improve mental health and counseling on our campus. But if you look back to years like 2015, you'll see YDN headlines that read, and I quote, Mental Health Forum elicits questions about YCC influence. So the big question that we had this year and in years prior is how do we go about influencing and collaborating with Yale Mental Health and Counseling to make sure that reforms are implemented and results are seen on our campus. And I think that's exactly what we did this year. We teamed up with Paul Hoffman, who was the Interim Director for Mental Health and Counseling and is now the Permanent Director, to institute and publicize a wide variety of reforms that would benefit the student body. And once again, I want to reiterate, this has been a collaborative effort. There have been student activists, there have been mental health and counseling groups on campus, the administration, individual students, and of course the YCC. And we've all come together to have these four new initiatives announced. Firstly, we're excited to announce that the wait time between when a student uh, first has their appointment at MHNC and gets connected to a therapist has been reduced by more than half. Um, secondly, we're excited to announce that uh, MHNC successfully piloted uh, walk-in intake hours this past fall semester and we'll be uh, initiating this program once again once the school year starts uh, next academic semester. Um, we also uh, would like to let students know about the fact that we now have pictures of the clinicians on the MHNC website so that students can be more familiar with the faces that they'll be seeing once they uh, access services at MHNC. Recently we've gotten a lot of the websites updated all across Yale that show pastoral care resources under mental health and counseling resources. And essentially what this means is that any student on campus can have a one-on-one -on -one appointment either one time or multiple times with one of the over 30 members of Yale Religious Ministries. All the members of the Yale Religious Ministries are trained in personal guidance. And I think this is an avenue for students who are looking to have a personal relationship with a trusted adult uh, who they can speak with about important things going on in their life, but don't necessarily seek uh, psychiatric or medical help for things that are occurring in their life. Um, and finally, um, we're also excited to announce that we'll soon be having a clinician meet and greet for students to informally meet with clinicians who they might be speaking with uh, in the future. So all of the progress that YCC has made in regards to mental health has stemmed from student-led efforts. We're also very, very lucky that students continue to tell us about their concerns related to mental health and trust us uh, to advocate on their behalf.